even know about this thing and I'll tell you what it is massive it is the biggest piece of machinery that I have ever seen it is four-wheel drive it weighs 45 tons and has a payload of 80 tons but can only travel two miles an hour and it is named after a World War One gun what is it? Does anyone know? Okay, we're just driving on the uh, highway to Mildura. The wind is back. Uh, are we going to the Darling River from this road, Doc? Eventually. Eventually. So we're going to Mildura. Uh, it's a major highway, this. Uh, there's B doubles, trucks, all sorts of things. It's a great road though, uh, 110 k's an hour, but I'm only sitting around 100. Uh, if you see a truck come up behind you and you've got a CB, just say to them, uh, pass whenever you can and uh, slow down when they pull out. I just did do a B double there a minute ago and he's about a kilometre ahead of me now, so uh, great little highway though, very windy today though, so you've got to keep an eye on what you're doing. I have got a camera sitting on my chest, uh, sorry not a camera, Annie's holding the camera, I'm just holding the speaker, so we'll see you when we get to Mildura, but Annie wanted to uh, show you something on the side of the road. Can't get Annie to say anything on camera, you know what she's like. I said, explain what we're looking at here, she wanted to show you the bush, there's wildflowers growing all along the side of the road here but one thing we did notice about the uh, bush around here is the trees they look like bonsai eucalyptus trees so not sure what they are looks like they've had a few fires around here though but uh, there's some of those yellow flowers there on the side of the road and there's other smaller white flowers as well uh, a lot of bush flowers around here so it is home of the Mallee fowl. I just had a Mallee um, lamb pie as well. So, uh, absolutely beautiful. Can't remember the name of the town. Started with O. There was another name I couldn't pronounce. I'll put some photos up on the screen. I think I took a few around the town. But uh, we'll get going and uh, we'll see you at Mildura. Okay, we pulled up, as you've seen by that bit of footage there a minute ago, we were on the road to Mildura, and uh, one of the things we didn't know, which we just read, is that you cannot take fruit past this point. Fines apply, $600, so it's $600 per piece of fruit or whatever you take through. So there is all the uh, Fruits, apples, avocados, bananas, blueberries, capsicums, cherries, chilies, grapefruit, lemon, all the rest. Mangoes, decaturine, laquat, whatever that is, pear, plum, strawberries, eggplants and tomatoes. So we have cleared out our fridge of anything that we think might be suspect. because And checked all our cupboards because we do not want to get fined. So there you go. make sure you check your vehicle if you are on the way to Mildura. We're going to stop off at uh, Woolies though when we get to Mildura and restock back up on some of those things again. But uh, we'll keep going and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers everyone. Bye. And he did read that on Wikicamps this morning as well though. But uh, we just seen the sign there and it said to pull over so better to do it than risk it because i ain't got that would have been about uh 1200 in fines just in those few things cheers everyone see you soon bye everyone well we've made it to red cliffs uh haven't seen much of the town yet because something caught my eye as we were coming in didn't even know about this thing and i'll tell you what it is massive it is the biggest piece of machinery that I have ever seen. It is four wheel drive. It weighs 45 tons 
and has a payload of 80 tonnes but can only travel two miles an hour and it is named after a World War I gun. What is it? Does anyone know? Uh, if you did guess, um, leave a comment down below before I actually show you. But I am standing here looking at it. It is massive. It is towering over me. I cannot get the size of it. It even drags around uh, 70 uh, tons of fuel. So uh, that's how big it is. It, okay, I won't uh, hold you up anymore. Let's have a look at it. What is it? Look at this, guys. Big Lizzie. Named after a World War um, One gun from, the, from Britain. Big Lizzie and her one remaining trailer were purchased by the people of Redcliffs as a fitting tribute to the pioneers in memory celebrate 50 years of progress in Redcliffe. Uh, specifications, there you go. 30 foot, uh, foot lo 34 foot long, 11 foot wide, 18 foot high, 60 horsepower, single cylinder crude oil engine, weighing eight tonnes. Total of 45 tonnes, normal travelling speed, one mile an hour. It does say two on the other side. Turning radius, 200 feet. Uh, absolutely amazing. Look at the size of these wheels. And you might notice something uh, really um, interesting about the wheels on here. It has these big flat tracks here. Now there's some on the outside and some on the inside. They're all held onto the wheels by big cables. And uh, what's the purposes of these? Well, it was actually to travel across the sand dunes and open the country up. So it would have carried cargo around on the fuel container at the back here and uh, would have carried equipment and men and they would have drove around all up all the sand dunes. Let's have a look, see if we can see up in there. I can't see up in there, but hopefully the camera can. You might be able to see the steering wheel, some of the uh, controls, but absolutely amazing. There is the engine there. I'll see if I can get this camera to go up a little bit further. There you go there. Have a look up in there. I can't see what it's looking at, so it might be nothing. But uh, this here on the side is the radiator. And it looks pretty big radiator too. But uh, check it out. This was uh, built around 1911. Look at the front of it there. Imagine what that could push down. There's a spare cog up there, an anvil and that to repair stuff if stuff got broken. Look at all the steering um, arms and everything in here. Unbelievable, like it would have been a pretty rough ride. I couldn't imagine it would have had much suspension. But there's drinking water on this side. There is a flywheel up there and a big cog. So the flywheel is the counterbalance for the cog. Have a look at all the machinery cogs in here that are actually driving it. Look at the size of them. This here is amazing. This is why you need to get out and explore, guys. You come across little gems like this. And to think that this is just held on with a piece of wood. Have a look at that. So all that metal and steel, and there's a piece of wood holding that on. Another fuel container in the back there. So it had fuel on board as well as carting its own fuel around the back. There's some photographs around here as well. Here we go here. So there's some actual photographs of Big Lizzie doing what it did. Um, desert train. So there was a few of them, but this is the last remaining one. Have a look at that. Look at what it's carting around. Pulling trees out, clearing the land. How fantastic is this? It's even carting around um, steam tractors as well. 
So absolutely amazing. There it is being transported. So look at the state it was in. They've really done some great restoration on it. Probably sat in someone's paddock and uh, did nothing for years. And there it is being restored. And there's all the gentlemen that have restored it. So credit to them. Absolutely amazing job. Right near the water tower in Red Cliffs. So cheers guys, we're going to keep going and uh, hopefully show you some more exciting stuff. There is a train museum I want to have a look at. We've got to do some shopping, stuff like that, and then uh, make our way to the next destination. Cheers everyone, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and I hope you can get here one day and check out Big Lizzie. There you go. There's a, you can see up there, I can't see that from down here, but big toolbox up there. I just seen that. And uh, you can see up in the front there. So I'm going to take some photographs now. See ya. See ya, Big Lizzie. Unbelievable. I'll get right back because I don't think I've actually got a shot of the whole thing. Have a look at that. How cool is that? Cheers, everyone. Bye.